Hello and welcome to another podcast uh, brought to you by BTV, Austin Law Group. And I want to talk about really quick about how a breast cancer misdiagnosis in this situation uh, cost a doctor over four million dollars. What happened is that the doctor ended up having a patient come to him and she was complaining of a lump in her breast. And what did the doctor do? The doctor did what he was supposed to do. He sent her out for a mammogram. And they went and they did the mammogram and the mammogram was not read the right way. And it came back and said that everything was okay. So based on this, the doctor told her that, told the patient that, oh, everything is okay. Um, you know, everything will be fine. Well, she still complained to the doctor uh, during her self-evaluations and her, her self-exams um, of the breast area. She was finding that the lump was getting bigger. So went back to the doctor. The doctor kept saying, oh, everything is okay. It's just that you have cystic breasts and everything is fine. But the doctor did go and sent her out for a biopsy. A biopsy was done, but the biopsy, during the biopsy, they did not take the right tissue. They took normal tissue, and they did the biopsy based on the normal tissue in the breast. So again, they missed it, missed it again. Um, so when, once the results came back from the biopsy, everything looked good. So the doctor relays this information to the patient. Oh, everything is fine. You don't have to worry about it. You're, you're okay. Finally, later down the line, the cancer was caught and they found out that it was in stage four at that particular time. When they took a look at all, everything that had led up to this stage four, when they looked at the patients, they looked at the young ladies' uh, records, they found that the cancer was present all the way back when she was first complaining about it and that if the breast cancer was found earlier she could have had some options she could have had surgery to remove the lump she could have had uh, chemotherapy she could have had radiation all of these things if those things would have been done they would have prolonged her life this was a young woman she had a family and she had kids and so it was a very bad situation for her. Now, why are we doing this podcast? Because if you have a lump in your breast that is getting bigger and you've complained to your doctor about it and it just doesn't feel right, my recommendation to you would be that you need to go and get a second opinion. If it feels that this doctor is just not doing what he or she is supposed to be doing for you, it's your body. You know your body. And if it feels that things are not going well, get a second opinion because that second opinion could possibly save your life in this type of situation. For more information on a misdiagnosis of a breast cancer or any type of medical malpractice issue, you can pick up the phone and give us a call at 301-850-4832. Again, that's 301-850-4832. You can send us an email at info at bostonlawllc.com. Again, that's info at bostonlawllc.com. You can visit us at our website, bostonlawllc.com. It's a bunch of information there that could help you out, articles and free consumer guides and things of that nature. Again, I'm Marcus Boston. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me today, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye. You have just listened to a podcast from the trial attorneys at Boston Law Group, LLC. For more information, you can reach us at 301-850-4832. And if you would like us to answer a question in one of our podcasts, send us an email at info at bostonlawllc.com. Thank you and have a great day.